Hello everybody and welcome to an H1Z1 tips and tricks type of guide on bullet drop, tapping, and pretty much everything there is to know about this game. Very difficult game to understand when it comes to the bullet drop, but if you think of it like Battlefield, it really kind of eases the concept of the whole entire game. So I have about 1.3k hours on this game, so I'm not too bad at it. But I've seen a couple people make this video. I like some of them and I don't like some of them. So I'm gonna give my opinions on exactly what this game is and how it's supposed to be played when it comes to bullet drop and two taps and where to land and stuff. So I don't have the greatest computer and I don't have the greatest like shot in the world, but I do have one. So, all right, so now that we're in the game, usually if uh, your computer is good enough to run with this constantly you won't have to do it but me but before the game starts i always like to turn my render distance up to a thousand so that i'm able to see where to go now that's like a good render distance to be able to see down but fortunately in this newest update uh the september 21st or september 20th one, when you are on the ground what your render distance is doesn't matter how far you can see kids so no matter what your render distance is you'll be able to see them so i keep it on a thousand to be able to see down like straight down and then uh once i see where i want to go i turn it down so actually i'm not going to go to the trailers over there. I'm not gonna go to these, to the warehouses. I'm gonna go to the two trailers. So pretty much you wanna loot as fast as you can because with this game, people, if people loot faster than you, you're practically dead. If they get the gun before you can get the gun, you're really just dead, honestly. So if you don't know about the Magnum, the Magnum is the best gun in the game. It's got zero bullet drop and it does nine damage a shot to cars. So this guy's car is really low. It does nine damage depending on the car. I think uh, trucks take like somewhere from seven to eight damage, but cop cars and Jeeps take around nine, eight, eight damage. But the bullet drop, if you ever want to test it, is absolutely nothing. So I'll, I'll show you guys real quick. I play on 70 FOV, but I'll zoom it in so that you guys can see on the tree. You'll see that the, here, I'll go really far away too. The farther you go with the Magnum really doesn't matter for the bullet drop because it's practically perfect. It really doesn't move at all and it doesn't, there's not really any bullet drop to it. So some people like to use it for kills, some people like to use it to blow up cars. I don't personally like to use it at all because I think it's scummy how it does so much damage to cars and people are just able to abuse it like that. Alright, now grenades are not the best thing in the game. Uh, people think they are and they're used as if they are but they are not the best thing in the game so if some if you just shot some guy down really low and he wants to hide behind that rock and you're gonna lob an aid you're gonna want to move while you throw it so that it goes farther but if it lands on that side of the rock and the guy's behind it it will not affect him at all so just note that if the guy is behind the rock and i it lands where i threw it right in front of it then he most likely won't get affected at all because in the last update they took out like penetration how it can go through walls now i'm going to prove to you that the magnum has about no bullet drop when it comes to shooting if he doesn't see i can i can pretty much shoot it however i want now lammies are a really important factor in uh h1z1 so regular lammies take two extra hits of an ar so instead of taking 50 damage you'll take two damage which is a very very important factor when you're trying not to die in sticky situations or just up close combat with shotguns it will tank every single shotgun shot that comes to you now what I think is easy is the AR. The AR is a pretty easy and simple gun to use and to learn. Um, pretty much when you're shooting the AR, it'll do a left and right animation, which I'll show you here in a second, just so I don't die if I can find a helmet, because I know there's kids around. So the AR is a pretty simple, basic, uh, learn your way around weapon. It's not very difficult to learn. It's very, very simple. So you don't want to shoot it too quick unless they're close enough. So I'd say about right here would be a good enough distance to spray but you always want to spam crouch while you're spraying or just sit crouch because people go for headshots most of the time on this certain patch because there is no head flinch so people love to go for headshots and two tap you so that's one thing you should probably try to practice is keeping your reticle steady while you do that but the AR practically just does a left and right recoil whenever you shoot. It'll shoot left and then it'll reset for you and then it'll shoot right and it'll reset for you. I'm not doing it fast enough to have it go left and right. So pretty much it goes left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. So it's it's practically just a left and right scenario that you have to get used to when you're using the AR. Um, so if you do it slow enough, you can practically two tap someone perfectly. But see like this kid down here, this is bullet drop. So the bullet drop from here would miss, but right here, See, that hits.
See, two tapping really is not hard in this in this latest patch of the game because they don't have any head flinch as they used to. So w when you shoot them in the head, it really doesn't. Their heads don't flinch, so you don't miss the second shot. I mean, it happens every now and again because the game servers sometimes go on a little rampage and don't like to work but as of right now they have been working pretty swell i'm gonna try and loot this and not die because i need healing supplies another thing i want to teach you guys to uh teach you guys about is the shotgun so in this patch uh, of the game it has not really been working too well sometimes it'll shoot what i like to call blanks a lot of other people like to call them ghost bullets other people like to just say it's not fucking working in this game shit i call them go uh, i call them blanks because sometimes I don't know why this happens, it's usually at the beginning of the game, you'll shoot someone and you'll get a, a blood splatter, but you won't get any hit marker and you, they won't take any damage. Sometimes you won't even get a hit marker or a blood splatter. Now my preference with a shotgun is to go first person and always jump after you shoot, especially if it's a close range and you're both using a shotgun. Now there is a system in H1Z1 called betting, I wouldn't really recommend doing it because it's a waste sometimes if you lose, but you can pretty much bet free coins. Uh, for getting placed pretty high in a couple games and if you bet if you bet the free coins and you win uh, you'll be you'll get 1,000 skulls and then you can bet a hundred skulls and if you win a hundred skulls you win a thousand more skulls so basically skulls give you prizes such as Jeep skins pants shirts etc 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 skulls just really aren't that important to me I don't really care about having a car skin or anything plus I don't win every single game like people like summit and Adrian now it's mainly mandatory to fall down and get a car because cars are the best thing in h1z1 and as my buddy summit calls it he calls it car 1z1 cars are a blessing and a curse blessings you can get one tapped in it but at the same time it gives you so much body cover that they're just great if I had to recommend any car I'd probably recommend the cop car it's the fastest it's sturdy you can catch up to almost anyone in the game and you can just pretty much I don't know just own shit with the fucking cop car now another important thing is setting up your inventory to the way you like it so the way I like it is having my bandages is Q because it's very very close to W, A, S, and D, which is what you use to move, and F. A lot of other people like to use F for other things, but I really do like to use it for my med kits because if I'm getting shot at and I need to just quick up, quick med, 10 HP or something, then that's what I do. But the other thing I wanted to show you guys before I end this video is the AK. The AK is probably the easiest thing, but people miscomplicate it so much. So the AK, it's got a really easy spray. So the spray, if, I'm, if the guy is right here, right, and I want to spray, you just hold it down and it practically does it for you. It just bounces back and forth left and right. But tapping is probably the most efficient way for me unless they're up close. So if there's someone in there, it practically does a V motion. So it'll go up and to the left and then reset and then, oh, awesome. Got to get another AK. All right, so now that I fell down and I got another AK, uh, I'm going to show you guys how the AK practically taps instead of like when you just spray it at a wall. So. If I'm shooting at a guy, and the guy is around here at this wall where I'm at the point to where I can't spray without it going all over the place, you're going to want to tap, and it goes into its own little V like motion. So it's going to tap up and to the left, and then tap up and to the right like this. So practically, you just... If you're really practicing with the AK and you want to get good with it, because it does a lot of damage a hit. It does around, I'd say, 31 damage a hit to someone in the body without a Kevlar and if you do hit him with it it does a lot of damage so if you hit someone with it and you want to get good with it just practice like, practice on how fast you can tap it and if you can tap it fast enough while keeping it steady then you'll you'll pretty much be set and then like I said you get close enough about right here with it and spam crouch and it practically shoots itself always make sure to take the keys and the fuel out of your car as well when you first get it because if you do not and you drop the keys and or someone steals the keys and takes your car then that's it but if also someone takes the key and you don't have one and you get in a car you will not be able to drive it without one and so you have to hotwire it that just takes seven seconds and hot wiring sucks because let's show you why in a second hot wiring sucks because if you try to drive the car and you want to Turn your engine off and sneak up on someone. You can no longer turn it back on until you re-hotwire it. Same as if you get out and get back in. I hope you guys enjoyed my little H1Z1 tips and tricks. 
aim tutorial guide. If you did, definitely be sure to let me know. Uh, it's a pretty simple game. It's practically just a point and shoot. Uh, I love you guys. And I will see you guys in the next video.